Hey guys, how are you all doing? So a few days ago we showed our classmates at school and our teacher our video. She liked it so much that she wanted us to make a new video. It's basically a documentary about a new software that we had developed. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> So like any other software is designed, you first need to get the requirements. So we hired an analyst who would ask for the requirements from the client. Students today share the same interests we had of friendship, socializing. So I want, you know, for today's uh, generation, for today's youth, you develop a, a small software module wherein they uh, explore the tools that they are using it uh, on social networking sites because when I when I uh, see the youngsters you know talking uh, maybe in uh, using uh, BBM or Facebook they are using those uh, expressions they are using those smileys to express their mood so I want you uh, to make them aware about like what is an emoticon how are they used and how easy is to use them in our day to day life we had made four different groups for the development of the software. Um, they consisted of documenters, designers, Each of the teams had a leader, so after the analyst took the requirements, he briefed the team leaders of what the software was going to be. We did evenly throughout your team. Now that I have covered the most important topic, let me ask you a question. Have you understood? <laughs> after the briefing, um, each of their team leaders got down to work and they started briefing their own team. And first up was the design team and she started briefing her team. And they got that to this. So these are the different charts and diagrams that we are going to pass on to the coders. These designs will be used in the actual software. After they were done, um, the design leader passed on the designs to the coding leader and um, their job was basically to compile all the designs into one software. So the coding leader briefed his team. I am not done yet. And there is more. I want to ask you all a question. Do you understand any of this? Because I don't. And they got duct to this thing. Now we're just typing up the codes that were given to us by our leaders. After the coding team uh, coded the software, the software was made. The software was passed on to the testers and uh, the testing leader briefed her team. The software from the coders. We now have to test the software to see if there are any bugs in them. Just remember, if there are any bugs, step on them. And they started working on it. So right now we're just checking to, we're just testing to see if there are any bugs. While testing the software, the testers encountered a bug.
actually fixed it. After the testing part was done, the software was passed on to the documenter so that um, documentation of the software can be done. Uh, their job basically is to create the manuals for the user so that it's easy and all the technical data that's regarding the software. So the documenting leader briefed the team. One is uh, for the user and one is for the people who come and fix the software. So basically we'll be making two different types of manuals for home. And they started to work on it. typing in our uh, manuals. The first one is technical manual in which we'll explain about the software hardware uh, requirements and other problems that will come with the software and how to fix them. Next we'll do is user manual in which we'll explain how to use the software and in what sort of problems you can have and how can a user alone handle them. The software was finally ready and we decided to test it on others so that we know what their feedback was. Okay, so you use the software yesterday, so what do you think? Is it easy to use and easy to understand? See, I'm not a very uh, computer savvy person. I'm, I'm uh, I would say, middle level. But for me it was easy. So I did not have to struggle or I, something like, okay, I have to read now, how I have to understand. Nothing like that was there. It was very easy and uh, a not very technical person like me could use it. So it seems to be user friendly. Do you think uh, kids between the ages of 7 and 16, will they find it fun and useful? Oh, it's, it's fun for not, a, not only children of 7 to 16, it is for us also oh, okay. at this age, in 40s. <laughs> Can you give any suggestion? I think quite a bit is covered. So, uh, you know, once we start using it, maybe some suggestion will crop up. But uh, at this point of time, I think it's, it's, it's quite good. A lot of people like us don't know the actual notes that you have made it, which you people in SMSs and uh, emails use. If if it it comes with that together, on the same page. The software project was a huge success, and we hope to do this sometime again. So I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, video documentary. Hopefully we should have the link of the software so you guys can try it out in the description box below. And uh, be sure to check out our actual channel, Fire Productions, and be sure to subscribe to us. Thanks.